So we are live from the quarantine. <laughs> Let's just try that again. <laughs> and um, we have our dumbbell heptathlon. Ah, I got it right this time. All right. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing 10 exercises and we're going to be doing them uh, 10 times each. And we're going to be doing four sets of those. And it is speed strength day. So we're going to make sure that we go fast and light with this, but we do not want to sacrifice form for um, speed, all right? And we also have, and this, this also kind of uh, goes into the story of the day, we have a sit-out test today. So we're gonna be doing a two-minute sit-out test. And when we're, when we're doing that sit-out test, um, uh, if you have any issues with the sit-out, like it hurts your shoulders or whatever, I'm gonna have you do either a two-minute knee grab test or a two minute push up test. So it's, it's your choice, but, um, but if you can do the sit outs, do them. Even if they're slow and methodical, I don't care. I just wanna see how many you can get in, in two minutes. And um, which leads us into the story of the day, which is a, a quote that I, I really, really appreciate. And, and um, I, I keep finding different parts of my life that this fits into. And there's a quote, it's called, it, it says, um, what gets measured gets managed. And that is a quote by Peter Drucker. And he wrote that in 1954 in the book, The Practice of Management. And um, uh, that is one of the reasons why we test at Training for Warriors. So there might be some people later on who are watching this video who aren't familiar with um, the tests that we do in here. And um, one, of the, one of the great things about that is that like every quarter we're testing the different um, exercises, either strength exercises or these exercises like, like sit-outs, which are called SISU, which is um, a metabolic uh, exercise. And when we test them and we write them down and then we can check the next time that we do this exercise, we can see how we've progressed, you know. And um, one, of the, one of the reasons why I really love this, this idea of what gets measured gets managed is, you know, I've been here at Training for Warriors about four years now as a student, a coach, and a co-owner. And uh, not last January, but the January before, um, I was under an incredible amount of stress and I ended up losing a bunch of weight. And I had to reset all of my strength exercises because I did not have the muscle mass necessary in order to do what I had been doing. And that showed me that I couldn't get away with having that level of body weight, that level of body fat, and that level of uh, muscle mass in order to be strong. And I was so happy that we had the, this measurement system here with the in-body and then with tracking our, our numbers as far as these tests are concerned to show me how unhealthy it was for me to be at that level of stress and that physique at that time. So. Um, that is one of the things that we're talking about with you guys individually, um, you know, when we're setting these goals and we're setting these action items with you. Um, some people are working on just protein. Are you getting enough protein in a day? And when we, when we figure out if you're getting enough protein and we're weighing you in and we're doing these tests, we're seeing all these different numbers add up to different levels of success and what we can play with as far as the numbers are concerned to get you the outcome that you want. So that is one of the reasons why we test in here. That is one of the reasons why we, we measure our, our uh, body fat and muscle mass in here. And um, as always, if you want to come in and do a weigh-in, we're not gonna be doing them during classes. You can go ahead and schedule with me. And I think Steve, you wanted to come in and, and uh, weigh in. So we can, I'll send you my scheduling link and, uh, and you can get that, get that going on. All right, so guys, today we have our mobility flow to start before we go into our test. All right, guys, let's work on those hips, all right? So what I wanna start with is this Cossack stretch where I'm rocking back and forth. I have my leg directly out from my hip, rocking back and forth 10 times, eight, nine, 10. Okay, let's go to the other side. I'm gonna rock back and forth 10 times. Woo, <coughs> excuse me. Josh has been babysitting his girlfriend's dog for the past four or five days, so we've had a dog in the dojo, and I'm a little on the allergic side to the fur babies. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna switch back 
to my original side, and then I want to do leg lifts. So I'm going to do five leg lifts. Two, three, four, five. Switch it out to the other side. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Next, we're going to go knee to elbow, out to side, up and back and down. We're going to do these really nice, big hip circles. We're going to do five forward, five back, four, five. Take it back the other way. One, two, three, four, five. All right, and then leg lifts. One, two, three, four, five. Taking my elbow to knee out to side, up and back and down. I can see you guys through my hair. <laughs> three, four, five. Taking it back the other way. Three, four, and five. Let's get those fire hydrants in. One, two, three, four, five. Holy tight hips, Batman. All right, guys, let's go ahead and go into our shin box. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line up my shin, and then what I wanna do is I wanna take my feet, plant them flat on the ground, and then rotate the other way. So I'm trying to keep this really straight back as I do this. If I need to put my hands behind me in order to keep that back straight, go ahead and do that. We're gonna do five on each side and then we're gonna switch it up a little bit. If you travel with this, that's okay, it happens. Here we go. Four, and here's five. So with this one, what I wanna do is I wanna take my belly button, I wanna point it over that knee, and I wanna fold it forward. So what I'm not doing is I am not curving my back with this, I'm keeping my back really flat and hinging from the hip as I, as I bend down to the ground, just from that hinged hip. I'm gonna come back the other way and I wanna point that belly button over that knee. Feel that stretch in that outer thigh into your glute. Let's take it to the other side. Hold it there for a second, breathe in, breathe out. Take it to the other side. Feel that stretch. Really think about where you're feeling this in your body. Put your attention there. Switch it to the other side. One more time each side. All right. Nice job, guys. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to come into this Kneeling position, I'm sitting back on my heels. I'm gonna take my hands, pushing my butt back onto my heels. I'm gonna take this right hand, I'm gonna reach through. I wanna get that shoulder onto the ground if possible. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rotate it out, following that elbow with my eyes. Go five times on the right. Three. Four. And five. Let's go to the other side. So guys, with this, I'm really pushing that butt back onto those heels. Bringing that hand through and then rotating out. Bringing that hand through, rotating out. 
three, four, and five. All right, guys, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna come into this high plank. I'm gonna take that knee in between those hands. I'm gonna keep that back leg straight and active, and then I'm gonna fold over that front leg, keeping that really nice stretch in there. Everything's active. Breathing in and out, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Let's take it to the other side. Knee comes in between hands, keeping that back leg straight and active. I want you to slightly fold over that front leg. All right, one more time on each side. Bringing this hip, I'm sorry, this hip down over that foot, trying to keep those hips straight. Breathing in. All right, one more time. Other side. Okay, let's go ahead and stand up. So now what I wanna do, so I'm gonna bring my hands forward. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do shoulder circles with my glutes on, standing upright. I'm gonna reach out of my arms. I'm gonna bring my shoulders down to my hips. I'm gonna bring them back, squeezing them together, and then I'm gonna bring them up to my ears. So I'm doing these really nice controlled shoulder circles, getting that full range of motion. So pulling forward, bringing my, my shoulders down to my hips, squeezing my shoulder blades together at the back, and then up to my ears. Let's go 10 circles forward. Seven, eight, nine, and 10, taking 10 back, up to ears, bringing those shoulder blades together, bringing them down to my hips and forward. Squeezing my glutes the entire time. Nine, and 10, nice. All right, we're gonna loosen it up a bit by just swinging our arms in this horizontal plane. Nine, 10, now we're gonna go into a vertical plane. Nice. Nine, 10, all right. Now I want you to widen out your feet. You're gonna take your arms out to the side. Keep those legs as straight as possible as you reach down and touch. Switch it to the other side. We're gonna do five times on each side. Four, five, six, oops. Yeah, five on each side. <laughs> Nine and 10. All right, next guys, we're gonna go into our yoga windmill, all right? So I'm in this high plank. I'm bringing my, my foot next to my hand. I'm gonna reach towards you, and then I'm gonna look at my hand as it rotates out, and then it's gonna rotate towards the other side, the other wall, looking back, bringing that elbow down into the world's greatest stretch, keeping that knee forward, keeping that back leg active, switching it out to the other side, rotating that hand and shoulder, bringing that elbow in. One more time on each side. 
reaching, 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 keeping this really nice active stretch the entire time. Following that hand with the eyes, bringing that elbow down, switching it out. Knee is forward, back leg is super active. All right. We're going to do one more exercise. So I want to come into this deep, deep side lunge. I'm going to walk my hands out into this high plank. I'm going to come back in. I'm going to rotate. So guys, we're trying to get our legs warmed up with this. We're getting our shoulders warmed up, opening up that chest, opening up that thoracic spine. One more time, each side. Ah. All right, so now for your sit out. You might want to get rid of your mat if you have that. Some people do really well with the sit outs in bare feet or socks. Some people do better with, with shoes on. It's just, it just depends on you. But let's go ahead and practice before we, before we actually get into the test. So I'm going to be in this quadruped position. My knees are going to be up. My, my knees are going to be close into my hands. And then I'm going to kick out to the side. This back foot is flat on the ground. As this elbow comes to hand, I come back in. I kick out. So this, my butt here is really close to this hand. I'm not out here like this. I'm in tight with it. That's why I always want to reset in the middle, getting those knees in tight to my hands, kicking it out. This is a wrestling move. You're pretending like there's somebody on your back and you're kicking them off, all right? Woo, it's been a long time since I tested this. All right. So that's our sit out. Now, if that bothers your shoulders at all, I want you to do a two minute knee grab test. All right. So you're here doing those knee grabs, grabbing those shins, bringing those feet flat on the ground. Or if you want to, you can do a two minute push up test. So with your two minute push up test, you're obviously going to rest at points, unless you can do two minutes of push-ups, which I'm super impressed. But keeping those feet together, that butt is slightly raised. We never want to drop those hips because we lose our abs. Coming in tight, always, always touching that chest to the ground, all right? But even if you're not fast with the sit-outs, I would rather you do two slow minutes of sit-outs and get used to that movement than, than think that you have to go fast with it, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead set my timer for two minutes all right we're getting into the position and we're starting in three two one go one two three four counting each side is one six seven eight nine you can rest during this. Switching it out. Getting that quick interchange as you're doing it. We have a minute 30 seconds left. Do not be afraid to rest. If you're getting super gassed, I want you to keep that form really good. Don't let your form get compromised. All right, guys. We got about a minute left. Keep going, keep going. Woo! Feeling it. I'm slowing down. That's okay, because I'm trying to keep my form really good. Making sure this back foot comes flat on the ground at the back. 
Don't forget any of the, the moves, the positions that you're in with this complex movement. We have about 30 seconds left. Woo! Fifteen seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Ha ha! Yeah! Oh. Stand up. Make sure to try to get those lungs full of air. All right, don't bend over with this in your rest. Wow. Totally felt that one, guys. We're gonna collect ourselves for a second, rest for a moment, and then we're gonna do our warm up for our heptathlon. So, if you have some light dumbbells, Please grab those. Ooh. All right. Hey. Really feeling it. Going into the victory pose. Making sure I get air into my lungs. Woo! All right. Okay, guys. So. When we're doing this heptathlon, if your weights are too heavy, you can always just grab one weight, all right, or a book, something that has resistance to it. The first thing we're gonna start with is our front squats. So I'm gonna hold my dumbbell here, close to my neck, my elbows are gonna be up, my toes are gonna be turned out, I'm squeezing those glutes at the top. I'm gonna come down and up. Now what I'm doing right now is I'm just warming up. So I'm not gonna go fast yet. I wanna make sure I get this movement locked in. Go ahead and give me 10. Nine and 10. Next, I'm gonna narrow up my feet and then I'm gonna go into my overhead press. So then my elbows are gonna be tight into my body. Come up overhead, tight into my body up overhead. Really squeeze those glutes, guys. Don't forget those glutes. Again, we're going slow. We're just warming up these motions, really getting our posture on for this, keeping that rib cage down as I do this overhead press. So my rib cage is down, my glutes are on. All right. And then I have my forward lunge and return. So what that means is I'm gonna do 10 on one side and then 10 on the other. Coming into this forward lunge, coming back, all 10 on the right side first, getting that back knee about an inch off the ground. That front leg takes all the weight. All right, switching out to the other side. Staying really upright with this. Try not to lean forward. Nine and 10, nice. Now I have my bent row. So I'm gonna come into this hinge position, staying in those lats. Don't lose those lats. Don't let those arms drop out of those sockets. Pretend like you have towels stuck in your armpits. Squeeze those shoulder blades at the top. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice. Now I have my RDLs. So I'm already in that hinge position. I'm going to come over with hands below my knees. My back is going to be at about a 90 degree angle from the floor, if possible. I wanna feel this in my, in my hamstrings, really squeezing those glutes at the top, locking out those legs. 
Seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice. All right, now I have my curls. So I'm narrowing up those feet. Full extension with these curls. Again, if the weight that you have is too heavy, you can always just grab one. We're gonna need speed for when we actually get into the circuit. So make sure you have the right weight. If all the weights that you have are too heavy, grab a book. It's still gonna cause you resistance. Nine and 10. Now I go into my overhead tricep extension. So I'm here, my arms are extended, elbows are in close to my head, making sure I feel that stretch at the bottom, really squeezing those glutes, bringing that rib cage down. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. Nice. So guys, those are all the exercises in our circuit. I'm gonna go ahead and grab some water. And then I'm gonna demo what the speed looks like before we actually get into it. All right. So for my speed for this, my front squats are gonna look like this. Boom, boom. I wanna make sure that I get that full range of motion with it. I wanna get low enough with it. And then for my overhead press, making sure I get that full extension as fast as I can keeping everything on. My forward lunge and return, same thing. Boom, 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 yeah? I got my bent row, but trying to get as fast as I can with that. I have my RDLs, really locking out those hips. I have my curls, and then I have my overhead tricep extension, all right? As fast as you can. Then we're gonna take about 30 seconds of rest before we go back into it. If you need more rest than that, that's fine. Take, it, take the amount of rest that you need. I want you to get that heart rate up, then I want you to recover and go back into it. But we are still maintaining a higher heart rate with this, okay? So, we're gonna be starting with our front squats, widening out those feet. And give me 10 of them. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Overhead press. Don't forget to narrow up those feet. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Forward lunge and return. Stepping forward and back. Getting that back knee about an inch off the ground. Sorry, hair, hair in my face. <laughs> Nine and 10. Switch it out to the other side. Three, four, five, six. You might see like you're slowing down a little bit with this, that's okay. Nine, 10. All right, I got my bent rows. Making sure I'm squeezing that shoulder blade full extension with those arms. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10. RDL, coming over. Seven, eight, nine. 10. Then I have my curls. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Then I have my overhead tricep extension after my curls. Three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, and 10. Nice. All right, we're gonna rest for about 30 seconds. I'm gonna grab some water.
Woo! Ha! Ah. I'm still feeling gas from those sit-outs, guys. That's a sign. We should have had sit-outs as far as the homework was concerned to prep us for that. I see what we need now. I see. Yeah. All right, guys, we got about 10 more seconds and then we're going to go back into it. Okay. We got our front squats to start. This is round two. We have four sets total. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Going right into our overhead press, narrowing up those feet, keeping those elbows in at the bottom. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Forward lunge and return. All on one side, then all on the other. Five, six, seven, woo, eight, nine, and 10. Switching it out to the other foot. Boom. Knee comes down, chest stays upright. Four, five, six, seven. Yeah, always slow down with these. Nine. You might be a lot faster than me on those. You go for it. My bent row, making sure I get this set up right. Squeeze those shoulder blades. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right into my RDLs. Still have this narrow stance. Still going into that hinge. Feeling those hamstrings activate as I bend over. Six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. All right. Got my curls. Can't forget the curls. Full extension. No rocking. We're not throwing it, right? We're staying really straight. That pillar of that body is really on. Nine, ten. Going into my overhead tricep extension. Narrowing up those feet. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Nice. All right, guys. Getting some rest. Getting about 30 seconds of rest. Again, if you need more, you take more. But we're still trying to keep those heart rates up. Woo! Ha! Forgot to look at the weather today. Seems like it's gonna be a nice day. Who can tell in Portland? Who can tell? Blue skies don't mean anything. All right, got about five seconds left. Going into our third round. Making sure to get set up in that position. Here we go, front squats. Getting deep, getting deep. Getting at least parallel, if not a little bit lower. Five, six, eight, nine, and 10, then my overhead press. Elbows in at the bottom. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Then I have my forward lunge and return. Six, seven, eight, nine, 
10, switching it out. Trying to keep that speed. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yeah, nine, and 10. Awesome. All right, now I got my bent row. One, two, three. Feel those hamstrings activate. Play with the bending your knee to feel those hamstrings. Then I have my RDLs. Coming below my knees with my hands. All right, curls. Getting total body with this stuff, guys. All the pieces and parts. Ten. Going into my overhead tricep extension. Nice job. All right. We have one more set left. We're going to take that rest, grab some water. Joking. Woo. All right. Got about 10 more seconds. Then we're going to go into our last set. It's going to be our best set. Yeah, it is. That other weight was a little light. I'm going to try this a little bit heavier weight, see if I can maintain my speed. And we're going. Two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Then I have my overhead press. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Forward lunge and return. Always try to start with your weaker leg forward. Switching it out. Getting depth with this. Getting low with that knee. Don't bonk that knee on the ground. Seven, eight, whew, nine, and ten. Then we have our bent rows. Bent rows. Really squeeze those shoulder blades, guys. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I have my RDLs. Two. Really squeeze those hips forward at the top. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Going into my curls, making sure I get that full extension and I'm not rocking my body. Keeping really strong with that body. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice. Switching it out to my overhead tricep extension. Woo! Feeling that five pound difference. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice. Great job.
All right. We are going to grab some water. Then we're going to go into our homework. All right. So even though normally our homework is 10 knee grabs, what I'd like to do today is I'd like to try 20 knee grabs. Get a little, get a little ab work in there. All right. All right, guys. So we're going to do 20 knee grabs. Go. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19 and 20. Nice. Now we're going to do our T spine push ups. So I'm going to do this from an elevated surface. I'm still trying to rehab the shoulder. Coming all the way down. I need to spread out my feet. And then I'm going to rotate. Coming all the way down to my chest and rotating. It's one. We're doing five. It's two. Two, don't let those glutes drop. Don't let those abs disengage. Three. Four. And this is five. Five. Nice. All right, guys. Then we're gonna do our squats with hamstring bias. So I'm widening out those feet. I'm coming into a deep, low, low squat, grabbing those toes, rotating out, rotating out, bringing chin to chest and trying to straighten those legs if possible. Hold it here for a second, get that hamstring stretch. Come back down into that deep squat. So I really want you to sit into this one. We usually don't ask you to do that but with this one, we want you to. It's three. Wah. Wah. It's four. And five. All right, guys. So we have a little bit of extra time left. Let's go ahead and knock out those seven way hips. You're welcome. All right. So I'm going to lay down on my side. I'm going to line up my feet, my ankles with my knees, with my hips, with my shoulders, using my hand in front of me to, to keep me from falling forward. I'm going to raise and lower that leg 10 times, dorsal flexing that foot, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Then I'm going to go center to forward, two, three, four, squeeze that glute, keep that distance between that leg, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, center to back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Fully forward to fully back. Two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Then I got circles, small circles forward. 
seven, eight, nine, ten. Small circles back. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, then I got my big, huge bicycles. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Woo! Let's get it over to the other side. Always got to give lovings to both sides. All right. Making sure I'm all lined up. My feet are dorsal flexed. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keeping that distance. Just coming out at about a 45 degree angle in front of me. Center to forward. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Center to back. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Forward to all the way back. Three, whoo, four, five. Six, seven, eight, whew, nine, and ten. Nice. Circles forward. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten circles back. Three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice. Then big, big bicycles. Three, four, five, six, seven, whew, eight, nine, ten. What? Wow. Great job, guys. You did all the things. You worked all the different body parts today. You got to do a test. So if you want to uh, text me and ask me if you have a previous score for the two minute sit out test, I can write your new score down or let you know what your old score was. Or you can just tell me what your new score is uh, via text and I will write it on the board. Um, it's always nice to see where we're at with that stuff. And um, again, what gets measured gets managed. No truer words, I feel like, you know, especially with our bodies, with the food that we intake, with our finances. If you don't know what's going on with your finances, if you haven't measured them, if you haven't figured out where you are with that, then you just don't know. And it's a mystery. And uh, in order to manage it, in order to get better with that, you got to figure it out, right? So guys, we're here to help you Bring forth the warrior within. Miss y'all. Bye. I did. Oh, I feel like I've never done a sit out before. I know. I, I, sit outs aren't my favorite anyway, but um, but I begrudgingly do them, you know, because they're good for me. Yeah. Uh, take your medicine. Kind of like a take your medicine thing. Absolutely.